Today we're out here on Lake Okeechobee. We're doing a little bit of prospecting for the Roland Martin Tournament this weekend, and we're also checking out the SA Tackle Box. So Joey, tell me a little bit about the Roland Martin Tournament and your plans for this weekend. Uh, the Roland Martin Series, it's the biggest team trail in the state of Florida. It starts this weekend as uh, qualifier number one, and um, we've just been out scouting. We did some fishing earlier today um, on the lake, and we, we caught some good ones. And uh, we ended our day just checking out new areas and stuff like that, and now we're back in here talking to you guys, giving you guys the rundown of what's going on. So tell me a little bit more about the Roland Martin Tournament. Obviously, it's one of the bigger tournaments on this lake. Give me a little bit of a history on it and how you anticipate this weekend to go. It's uh, the fourth year going so far. Uh, each year, the payout gets better and better, and uh, the competition gets better and better as well. So if this is a uh, trail that you want to fish, you're going to be going against some of the best guys on the lake. Um, you definitely got to bring your A game. But like I said, uh, big payouts. Good fishermen, it's definitely, if you want to make your name on this lake, that's definitely why you want to fish and kind of place pretty good. And me and my kid, my 10 year old, we're actually lucky enough to have uh, SA Company as our title sponsor this year. And uh, we're going to give it to her and we're going to try and take down some of the top teams in the state of Florida. Tournaments is kind of like my fun time. Okay. Um, I'm just coming out of season right now. My season for me is usually December till late April I'd say so here lately I've been coming out here every single day fishing sometimes two trips a day oh, wow. so to me a tournament on the weekend is like my time off my time to have fun fish with my kid and that's what I really enjoy doing I love the competition I love the sport it's something I've always enjoyed and like I said before we're pretty stoked to be repping SA this year. Just broke off on uh, one of my favorite lures, and uh, Noah happened to bring out a couple SA uh, subscription packs, and uh, had this frog on here that looks really good. It's got a rattle inside it, and um, we're out here trying to get these fish off these beds. There's big females out here, but right now we talked a male into eating, and she ate it real good. So far, so good. I like the frog. It's definitely doing its job. Nice bass, male bass, but we're gonna see if we can't get one of them big females to eat it here shortly. So. We couldn't have asked for a better day of pre-fishing. Not only did Joey get to test out some of his favorite baits from the SA Tackle Box, but the bite was on fire. Joey landed a total of about 10 small males, but also got a total of four giants in the live well by the end of the day. It goes without saying that we also had a gorgeous day. It was about 81 degrees with a slight breeze and not a cloud in the sky. Just switched up to the sprayed grass color. Uh, a lot of these fish out here, they're chasing bluegill right now. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bed right there. And uh, once these bass lay these eggs, these bluegill, they come and they try and rob the beds of the eggs. So we're trying to match the hatch here. This is obviously another male. I think the female's still out there, but um, taking males off the beds one fish at a time. That's what we're doing. Not only was the bite hot, but the wildlife was out in full force. We spotted otters, bullfrogs, tons of bullfrogs. We saw a few pythons and tons of American alligators who were getting ready for their mating season. The abundance of nature didn't slow us down by any means. Cast after cast, bait after bait, Joey was able to find one last four pounder to end the day. We couldn't help but admire some of the patterns on these fish. They were cleaner and healthier looking than we had ever seen them before. Now that the day was over, it was time to hit the docks and head home. We wish Joey Berg and his son Logan luck in the Roland Martin qualifier this weekend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.